Hey all, welcome to A Fistful of Dice. I'm Matt, and today we're going to be looking at some custom terrain that I built uh, using the DM Scotty technique. DM Scotty is a uh, YouTuber, his channel is The DM's Craft, and he makes some just awesome custom terrain pieces, uh, pretty much using cardboard, hot glue, acrylic paint, things that you just have sitting around the house. Um, He's one of my one of my favorite channels uh, in the community, and he's really inspired me to uh, to get back into custom terrain. I used to do custom terrain a lot um, when my dad and I were playing Mage Knight. We used to do um, you know custom terrain for Mage Knight games. We had a big big um, battlefield that we had made out of cardboard and styrofoam. Um, we had made like rock faces using styrofoam. We basically had like a soldering tool that you could cut styrofoam with, and we made like rock faces and cliffs and things like that. So um, he's really inspired me to get back into terrain building. Uh, but DM Scotty's thing is uh, no grids. He's gridless with combat. Um, I, I'm still a little married to the grid, though. Uh, it'd be tough for me to, to give it up, I suppose. I'm intrigued by the idea, but it's like, you know, I've already got all my dungeon tiles. Um, so much of my game is dependent upon that grid. So for now, I'm sticking with the grid. So I was trying to think of a, of a way that I could implement the grid into a DM Scotty style tile without making it look too cheesy or like I had just drawn it on there with um, Sharpie. So what I ended up doing was I used flocking um, to make the grid, which looks less like a like a static grid and more like it's like moss kind of growing up out of the flagstones. Um, so I think, I think it turned out pretty good. This is part of a bridge that I'm building. I also have a couple of stair pieces. So I'm going to flip the camera around here to show you a better look at it. All right. So here's the bridge I made. I'll put a couple figurines on there for scale. Here's a couple of my D&D &D minis. So I think it looks pretty cool. Um, the one thing about it, though, is that it sheds flocking like crazy. And I don't know if that's just the excess flocking coming off. I just made these yesterday, so I don't know if that's still the excess flocking coming off or what. Um, so what I did was I I made the tiles. I did, um, I, di I did the painting. I did dry brushing and detailing and stuff like that. And then I basically took uh, white glue, like crafter's glue or Elmer Elmer's glue, well, uh, before I did that, I drew I drew the grid on there with just a mechanical pencil, and then um, I took Elmer's glue and just kind of, you know, put little strands of glue wherever the grid was. And then I also kind of, you know, I like uh, I made it more uh, more concentrated in certain areas. I made it kind of run up the wall or run down, so it kind of looks more natural and less grid like. You'll see that um, on this one over here, there's kind of patches of it. And then here, there's kind of a vine kind of running running down the length of the stair. It looks like cracks in the rock. So um, it was really easy to do. And then I just kind of dumped flocking over it, you know, and um, and then just picked up the excess and put it back in the bag. Um, and then I, I used a matte sealer on it, which uh, gave it a nice finish uh, without making it too glossy or shiny. So I'm pretty happy with this. Um, I wasn't sure how the flocking was going was gonna to look, uh, but it really turned out pretty nice. Uh, I like the look of it. And I think I could use this technique um, for things that weren't, you know, sort of plant-like. Uh, I, I, I could use sand for the grid if I was doing like a uh, desert uh, dungeon. So it's a pretty versatile technique. So I'm putting this out there because I know there's a lot of people that love um, DM Scotty's stuff. I'm one of them. Uh, but as someone who is pretty attached to the grid, I wanted a way to add the grid into the tiles without making them look too too cheesy. So uh, I'm interested to hear your thoughts specifically, buddy. Um, I think even though you're <laughs> you don't like the grid, I think you you will appreciate you know this because it doesn't look doesn't look too grid like to me. So um, yeah, I definitely like the look of it. Uh, I might I might do some other pieces. I'm not really sure. You know, I, I really love my dungeon tiles, and I've got a bunch of them. So I'm definitely gonna uh, keep using those. But you know, if there's any 3D terrain pieces like bridges and stuff that I can make easily um, on my own, I'll definitely do that. So uh, definitely check out the DM's craft. He's just awesome tutorial videos on how to make your own awesome terrain. And uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions about uh, how I did this or, or or the technique or anything like that. So take it easy, guys. Happy gaming.